Oh, hello there. Didn't see you there. Welcome back to the channel. I've always wanted to try that, you know, like on old um, TV shows where the guy's like doing something and he like looks to the camera and goes, oh, didn't see you there. I just wanted to do it because I've always, <laughs> I've always wanted to do it because it's really weird. It's like, oh, I didn't see you there. Welcome to the channel. Anyway, <laughs> don't mind me. Wild boar. <coughs> okay, so how to draw a wild boar. I'm on a landscape page. Use a pencil and an eraser and hit pause if I go too fast, right? Because, you know, got to keep the algorithm happy. Video can't be too long, so I got to, like, move at a pace. So hit hit that pause button. So, <clears throat> wild boar, start with the eyes. Center point of my page about here, up, over to the right-hand side, and we're going to curve the line. Right, like so. And then his... I will kind of curve down then this way and to a point, right? So real small little eyes. His iris is inside, so it kind of just curves around. There, and then pupil. You can do a big or small. Pupils dilate with the light that they're exposed to. So something like that. I'm going to colour around the eye, sort of black, right? Just kind of like these animals tend to have these black sections around their eyes, right? You can just colour this black. <clears throat> so he's got really like beady little eyes, right? And they're really far apart. So we're going to do an eyelid just to bulk it up a little bit, right? So like just a line across here. And he goes down into his snout, which goes down this way. And then his sort of bottom eyelid line goes around here. Now, these are all like extra sort of little details and stuff. Right, so that's kind of our general shape for the eye. Right, just to make it a bit more substantial, just add that to it. Now, the other eye is real far apart. It's like over here, right? So you're talking like three of those eyes, I'd say. One, two, three. Yeah, like nearly three eyes would fit across here. One, two, three, roughly. There's a bit of wiggle room there, but that's about it. And then we curve this over. Same sort of shape comes around and down to a point that always sort of reminds me of like a grain of rice or a lemon or something like that. And then the iris curve around inside and the pupil inside there. Just coming down underneath that top eyelid. And try and make them roughly the same size. And then we colour around black. Kind of like so. And then we'll add like some extra sort of lines around. So like the eyelid sort of line. Coming around the snout sort of here. kind of stuff All right so so this sort of snout line right we'll keep it going so we'll bump it down here and it can be hairy sort of it can be lots of texture and stuff on it like you can do this kind of stuff if you want like because he is a furry creature you know like a, like hair lines coming across the snout and all that good stuff, you know. But roughly like that, and then about here, like we start start to see some tusks growing out from the side of his face, right? So here, say tusk, and like here, and I think it kind of goes in behind a bigger one. Yeah, it does. 
رندی ہے some texture on these right and then so his snout is in between so it goes like that and it goes down around the sides and then curves up, down, and connects back there. <clears throat> Might be sort of like a little sort of edge on the top. And then some nostrils inside. Right, so we got like a bottom lip, kind of there with a shadow underneath. And then a fur line, right, that goes around the tusks. So kind of real furry, hairy. Come around here, you can have like texture on that. Same thing on this side, so like real furry going around his. Mouth kind of like this. Give him the side of the snout sort of here. Kind of like that, so this is all furry texture, like so. Okay, so we'll go back up to the eyes, right? He's got like some more sorry, details on the eyes. So, say coming around here, like we've got like a furry sort of headline, and then there's like an eyebrow line coming out from there. Seems to come around his eye. And then go back into the corner. Ooh, kind of the same thing over here. Ooh, kind of like that. And then maybe like another on the top. Right, so stuff like this. <clears throat> right, so then he has massive ears, right? So the side of his head kind of comes out from his eye. So we've got like cheek lines and stuff here, with big sort of bags over his eyes. And then the side of the head will go this way. And it's a big round kind of head. Like so, and then big furry lines for his face that come around from the bottom of his ears, say, but it goes like into the side of his face as well. So we'll just do a layer, right? Coming around like this. Let's see, coming out from here. Right, 
comes right in underneath his chin. Like so. And back around, right? And so, like all texture inside there. Right, kind of like that. So then, top of his head, so we'll bring it like just around here. Again, furry, hairy, sketchy lines. And then some more kind of brow sort of lines just in here. Make it like that. And then there's two big ears here. As far as you can make it. Like so. And then we have a real big sort of hairy part here. Texture lines going down and up. <coughs> and like all this fur here. If you want like some hatching inside here just to show that there's a bit of a shadow kind of on the inside section of the ear. Like hair texture and stuff all on that, right? Maybe the same thing over this side. Big ear. Furry. Fur going down. Like so. And then fur on the inside. And maybe some hatching just in here. Okay, that's basically his head, right? But we'll just add some extra rolls of sort of fat coming down here, right? Or fur, right? We'll just do his head and his, sort of his back a bit. This will come down all the way to his neck. Down here, same thing on this side. We'll just sort of focus on the head here. If you want to add like another roll but you can we'll just keep it simple we'll just keep it simple here we'll do our best no stress huh and sometimes thickening up edge lines on these sorts of things can be helpful and then touch things up add fur texture wherever you would like. All right, but I think, oh, Lou, that is how to draw a wild or Hope was helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.